to Wednesday Wool Nuts. It's a great time of learning about tips that we can take away for our family. And I hope you've been really enjoying listening over the last few weeks uh, while we've been in lockdown. And it's been cool to be able to just be part of your evening or your lunchtime or in the morning when you're watching this. Um, and hopefully you're really enjoying it too. So tonight we've got a little mini series. So we'll probably do it for a couple of weeks. And it's on God's creation. God is an incredible God who creates so many amazing things with such detail. Have you ever seen a butterfly and how incredibly detailed it is and the beautiful colours of butterflies? God is an incredible God. Do you like creating things yourself? You might like painting, you might like cutting things out or building things with boxes. It's a lot of fun. So do you know where the story of creation is written in the Bible? It's in Genesis chapter 1 and 2. Hopefully you might not already know that. And tonight we're going to do it in a bit of a creative way. So let's go and have a look. All right, so I'm going to read Genesis 1 and a bit of 2. And we're going to learn about the story of creation, how God created us. And I thought we could do it in a creative way. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of paper and I've drawn seven circles for seven days that God created us and created all the things around us and then had a day of rest. So I used a little circle, I just used a roll of ribbon. Um, you can use whatever you want just so that they all fit on the page. Um, and then I've drawn them around with a felt. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that and being a bit more creative in a minute. So let's just start by reading Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning... God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2, the earth was barren with no life, form of life. It was under a roaring ocean covered with darkness. But the Spirit of God was moving over the water. So here's a little picture that I thought what we could do is create with the circles that you've got here all sorts of different um, creative little pieces that you can pop onto your circles. Uh, to create um, each day. So I'm going to read through and you can have a bit of a look at the pictures as I go along. All right, so you can see that they're loose and I haven't glued them on yet, but you can cut all sorts of things out. You can cut out little flowers and plants. You can cut out trees, trees and plants. You can um, cut out little people's faces because people were created on day six with all the, um, they, they can be amongst all the vegetation there in your picture. So let's carry on. God said, I command light to shine. And light started shining. God looked at the light and saw it was good. All right, you remember that? He separated light from darkness and he named the light day and the darkness night. Evening came and then morning. That was the first day. So as you can see in the picture, you've got one circle, it's split into two. Then I've just filled it in with black on one side and then I've put the day on the other side with the sun. So we've got the stars and the sun there, just showing the separation of the night and the day. Verse 6, God said, I command a dome to separate the water above it from the water below it. And that's what happened. God made the dome and named it sky. Evening came and then morning, that was the second day. So there we go, we've got the separation of the water and the sky in the second circle. Verse 9, God said, I command the water under the sky to come together in one place so there will be dry ground, and that's what happened. God named the dry ground land, and he named the water ocean. God looked at what he had done and saw it was good. Yeah, you can join me when I get to that bit. Fantastic. Verse 11, God said, I command the earth to produce all kinds of plants, including fruit trees and grain. And that's what happened. The earth produced all kinds of vegetation. God looked at what he had done and it was good. Evening came and then morning. That was the third day. So lots of plants, lots of uh, things that, uh, even things that we can eat. So like grain. Verse 14, God said, I command lights to appear in the sky and to separate day and night and to show the time for seasons special days and years. I command them to shine on the earth. And that's what happened. God made two powerful lights, the brighter one to rule the day. You know what that's called? The sun. Yep. 
and the other to rule the night. And that's the moon, isn't it? He also made the stars. Then God put these lights in the sky to shine on the earth, to rule day and night, and to separate light from darkness. God looked at what he had done, and it was good. Evening came, and then morning. That was the fourth day. Verse 20, God said, I command the ocean to be full of living creatures, and I command birds to fly above the earth. So God made the giant sea monsters and all the living creatures that swim in the ocean. He also made every kind of bird. God looked at what he had done, and it was good. Then he gave the living creatures his blessing. He told the ocean creatures to live everywhere in the ocean and the birds to live everywhere on earth. Evening came and then morning, that was the fifth day. Verse 24, God said, I command the earth to give life to all kinds of tame animals, wild animals and reptiles. That's what happened. God made every one of them. Then he looked at what he had done and it was good. I want to show you a tame animal that we have at our house. Whoa, what have we got in this basket? I can hear a little bit of crunching going on. Little maple. Maple is our little guinea pig. And he's crunching on. What do you think a guinea pig might crunch on? Do you think it's like nuts? Or broccoli? Or cauliflower? Maybe. But it's a carrot today. And maple's crunching on his carrot. He's a merino guinea pig which is a pretty cool fluffy guinea pig. And he smells a bit like a sheep, like a New Zealand sheep. He's pretty awesome. So he's a tame animal, isn't he? God made him. Look at his incredible little feet. Aren't they amazing? And his little eyes. And his gorgeous tiny little ears, a bit like tissue paper. I've stopped him having his afternoon tea. Should we just pop him down on the, on the cloth so you can see him while I finish off reading Genesis chapter one. Here we go. Do you think he might stay there? Can you see them all right? Fantastic. All right, so we're up to, we've just read about the tame animals that God created, and he made every one of them, and remember, they were good. All right, verse 26, just about finished. It's an incredible story. I'd love you to have a look at it in your own Bibles. God said, now we will make humans, and they will be like us. We will let them rule the fish, the birds, and all other living creatures. So God created humans to be like himself. He made men and women. God gave them his blessing and said, have a lot of children, fill the earth with people and bring it under your control. Rule over the fish in the ocean, the birds in the sky and every animal on the earth. I have provided all kinds of fruit and grain for you to eat and I have given the green plants as food for everything else that breathes. These will be food for animals, both wild and tame and for birds. God looked at what he had done. All of it was very good. Evening came and then morning and that was the sixth day. So the heavens and the earth and everything else were created. By the seventh day, and you see what's in this seventh circle? By the seventh day, God had finished his work and so he rested. God blessed the seventh day and made it special because on that day, he rested from his work. That's how God created the heavens and the earth. What an awesome story. God is an incredible God and, and his work is in the Bible. You can read all about it in Genesis 1 um, and I think it just goes over a little bit to Genesis 2 as well. Um, so I'd love you to have a look in your own Bibles at home and have fun at home uh, creating your own special, um, special story of what uh, God has created in our world. We can be so grateful, we can be so thankful for all the amazing things that God has created. So don't forget to thank God this week for his many blessings, the animals, the birds that fly, the water that we drink. So many things to be thankful for. So have a great week and we'll see you next time.